Hello, I'm Technician Wicker with the Fairfax County Fire and Rescue Department. The purpose of this informational video is to instruct you on how to provide hands-only CPR. Hands-only CPR has been shown to be as effective as traditional CPR in the first few minutes of a cardiac arrest. Check to make sure the scene is safe and then check the person. Tap the person on the shoulder and ask them if they are okay. Hey, are you okay? Are you okay? If the person does not respond, check for signs of normal breathing. If the person does not respond, call 911 or ask a bystander to call 911. You, call 911. Place the heel of your dominant hand in the center of the patient's chest, then place your other hand on top of your first hand and interlock your fingers. Position your shoulders directly over your hands and keep your arms straight. Push hard and push fast. Use your body weight to help you push at least two inches deep. Deliver compressions at a rate of at least 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Make sure you are letting the chest rise completely between each compression. Keep doing CPR until you see obvious signs of life, another responder or trained professional arrives, an AED becomes available, or the scene becomes unsafe. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. We hope you never have to use this skill, but if you see someone unconscious and not breathing normally, we hope you won't be afraid to try it. Even if they're not in cardiac arrest, there is very little risk of causing them serious harm. Remember, call 911 and push hard and fast in the center of the chest. These actions may help save a life.